Dark Souls has picked up some notoriety over the past couple of years, mostly for being known as the game that induces pure moments of blind rage all the way from start to finish. Imagine the embarrassment of spending an entire day trying to defeat a boss then realizing, this is the tutorial world? But hey, it's not all that bad. We've gotten some pretty good memes out of it. Solaire's an absolute lad with his praise the sun quote and other lovable shenanigans. Humanity restored. Dark Souls toilet levels IRL. Bork Souls. Get good in its finest stride. Thank, Thank you, you Dark, Dark Souls. Souls. Giant Dad. The Dark Souls of X. And many others. But mostly, you die. There is a lot of that in the game. Which segues us into today's video. We're taking a look at one of the enemies that I... A lot to. Hi. Hello. What? I'm Ryan, and this is Fig Ultra Reviews, where I review... Figures. So, I've had this little guy for about a year now, and I've been wanting to review him ever since. Well, here we are. So, today, as you guessed it, we're going to be taking a look at everyone's favorite big black knight. The... <laughs> The Dark the dark Knight. I keep on wanting to call him the Dark Knight. Oh, no, I got these scars? Well, I'm the Joker, baby! The Black Knight, starring Martin Lawrence as an amusement park employee who is magically transported back to medieval times after he falls into a pond while trying to claim a sunken necklace. Hilarity ensues. Okay, it's review time! Go! Go! Where do I... Where do I go? Delete that. Out of FromSoft's Soulsborne entries, Dark Souls is still my personal favorite out of the bunch. Bloodborne being a very close second with its cosmic horror and straight up chilling atmosphere. Third being Sekiro. Yeah. Good times. Even today, most of Dark Souls statues are shooting at a cool 500 USD. So when Ban Presto rolled up with their new line of Souls figures knocking off that extra zero, I immediately jumped in. My first encounter with the Black Knight I was both terrified and awed, the tall broad enemy casually slinging its massive sword over its shoulder as it watched me from afar. I'm not gonna lie, this dude looks badass, and I need that sword. As an underleveled fledgling, I spent countless hours trying to collect all the armor pieces to complete my cosplay. And I gotta say, the Black Knight armor is my go-to set. I've used a shield every playthrough. Quickly peeking at the box, it's a nice box. The front has a brick wall kinda shadowed around the window. Dark Souls Sculpt Collection Volume 3. Some red smoke and some more little windows on the side and on the top. I've uh, never seen that before. Uh, the cardboard slip inside the box is a nice pick of our boy offering up his sword. Now we can go over the details. At first I thought having him posed just stiffly standing there was a bit drab. But I realized that's exactly what the Black Knight does. He stands there, showing no emotion, sword and shield in hand, not necessarily looking for a fight, but will absolutely wreck your day if you get close enough. You've probably noticed his armor isn't completely black, as one would have guessed. Twisted specks of silver shine from underneath the dark metal polish. It's said that the Black Knights were once part of the Silver Knights, but were sent out to slay any chaos demon they came across. Their armor scorned with debris from years of aimlessly traveling the lands and burnt from the many fiery battles against the demons. We of course have to start with his greatsword, widely used to face foes much larger than himself, designed with a devilish, menacing shape. And its chunky build, this sword looks like it weighs a metric ton, but he effortlessly balances it over his shoulder single-handedly. The blade is riddled with chips and cracks from his many encounters. The beautiful design of the guard matches his armor, along with the long, twisted hamel and pommel. The pommel attaches it separately, by the way. Since we're in the same vicinity, his iconic helmet. The two oddly shaped horns give off those unfriendly vibes that the Black Knight is best known for. His helmet has an opening in the front, but only darkness can be seen from the inside. I like the little spikes sticking out from his back. It makes it look like his collar's popped. Okay. Uh, give me a sec to make sure I get all my armor terminology right. Uh, elegant etching can be found all along his chest plate. 
pauldrons, gauntlets, greaves, bever, couture, polyens, and cuis. I can't pronounce half these things. And his chainmail skirt. It's a hard cloth material made to look tattered and beat up. If I can remember correctly, the shield comes pre-attached to his hand, right out of the box and cannot be removed. One strap is secured around his wrist while his hand grips a hold of it tightly. But it does wobble. And just like in the description from the game, it features a flowing canal chiseled into its face. Oh yeah, the base. It's uh, nothing special, just a flat and round surface. Now let's go over my likes and dislikes. Of course, the listing price with this band Presto line being the only affordable ones in the mix of Souls figures makes me a happy boy. From top to bottom, the amount of detail that went into this $40 price figure is amazing. From the sculpt and shape of his armor to the little details of chainmail hiding underneath the rear brace. Most prize figures tend to have a plain flat look to them, but all the texture and angles of this armor set really make him stand out. I like that he's not looking exactly forward and is slightly positioned looking to the side, so you can angle him in your display. The paint job's not too shabby. They did a pretty good job on portraying the dirty, unkept look of this charred and deep fried armor, with blotches of silver and goldish color peeking out from underneath the black hue. I did spot a few blotches where the paint kind of ran and puddled, like on his helmet for example. Nothing much to really dislike about this figure, it's simple and straightforward. The base is a little wider than it needs to be, uh, the grip on his sword handle is a little weak so it really has no defined position and will roll around a little bit. And uh, a side note, he doesn't stand up too well by himself. Finally, let's rate this bad boy. I'm ranking him in three categories, then adding them all up for a final total for a 1 through 5 rating. First up is photographability. Actually, he was featured in our first Fig Ultra vlog, which was what really grabbed my interest into this hobby to begin with. I gotta say that his armor looks pretty fine as it glistens in the sun. I got some cool pictures that day. And I would love to take him out again. Next time it would be totally cool to go to like an overgrown forest with lots of moss. Next up is quality. He's made from ABS and PVC materials. So a few of his armor pieces are a flexible rubber and the rest is a stiff plastic. Even when I took him out, he felt reliably built from his helmet to feet. Every piece felt solidly attached and well made. And last but not least is get goodness. You'll definitely have to get good in a hurry against these fellas, especially when a horde of them gang up on you all at the same time. For the final score, I'm giving the Black Knight a jolly 4, tis but a scratches out of 5. Okay, just some final thoughts on this figure before we close this video out. The Black Knight is a mysterious foe. His stiff robotic-like movement in the game implies there's something otherworldly hiding inside the armor. And this figure really captures that haunting feeling perfectly. Here's how tall he is when placed next to other figures. He may also be able to hold other 1 8 scale weapons. His sword might be a little too heavy for others to carry though. Heh. And if you ask nicely, he will hold your purse for you. Also, when adding him to your collection, make sure to mind his sword. <laughs> eh, I think that's enough. Let's wrap this mess up. I did write out a speech asking you to like and subscribe and whatnot, but forget it. I'm just gonna go play Dark Souls. So, uh, much love. You're the best. I'll see you next time. Play Dark Souls. Go later. Oh, feet. Don't show the feet. <laughs> I'm gonna break everything in this room one of these days. Alright, I'm dizzy. Thank you.